Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Hulk. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been requested by many of you and that is a detailed comparison between the role of Salesforce admin and Salesforce developers. And we'll make sure if you watch this video till the end, you'll be able to make more informed decision while choosing between these roles. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. All right, let's get started. So you're interested in career in Salesforce, but you're not sure whether to become a Salesforce admin or a Salesforce developer. It's a common dilemma and today we are going to break it down for you. Let's start with a Salesforce administrator role. Now think of them as the architects of Salesforce ecosystem. They are responsible for configuring and customizing Salesforce to meet a company's specific needs. But what does that actually mean? As a Salesforce administrator, your day-to-day -day tasks involve setting up user accounts, defining security levels, creating reports and dashboards, and even automating processes with flows. Essentially, you are the one ensuring that Salesforce runs smoothly for the entire team. So, let's take an example. Let's say you work for a retail company. As a Salesforce administrator, you could create a custom dashboard that displays real-time sales data, helping the sales team identify top-performing products and regions instantly. To excel as a Salesforce administrator, you need strong communication skills because you'll be working closely with various departments to understand their requirements. Also, you should be detail-oriented and organized to keep everything in check. Now, let's switch gears and talk about Salesforce developers. These are the coders, the builders, the ones who turn idea into reality within the Salesforce platform. Salesforce developers create custom applications, write code in Apex and Lightning, and integrate Salesforce with other systems as well. Their work often involves solving complex business problems through programming. Now let's continue with our retail company example. If you were a Salesforce developer, you might develop a custom order management system that seamlessly integrates with Salesforce, making the entire order process more efficient. To thrive as a Salesforce developer, you should have a strong grasp of programming languages, problem-solving skills, and the ability to work with cross-functional teams. Attention to detail is very crucial, as even a small error in code can have significant consequences. Now, let's talk money. Which career path could potentially earn you more? Salesforce administrators typically earn a competitive salary with an average annual salary of $80,000 to $100,000, depending on your experience and location, obviously. If you talk about the Indian market, the average salary of Salesforce admins starts from 5 LPA and it can go up depending on your experience and expertise. On the other hand, Salesforce developers tend to command a higher salary due to their specialized skills. The average annual salary for a Salesforce developer developer ranges from $100,000 to $150,000 or more. In the Indian market, the salary starts at around 7 to 8 LPA and as we all know that the market for Salesforce developer is huge, so it can go up to 25 to 30 LPA within a few years of experience. So which career path should you choose? Well, it all comes down to three things, your interest, your skills and your career goals. If you enjoy working closely with people, have a knack for process improvement, and prefer a role that's less code intensive, then becoming a Salesforce administrator might be your best fit. Also here, I would like to highlight one most important point that you should definitely consider before making any choice. If you are in India, then it is important to note that there are very less opportunities for Salesforce admins as companies mostly recruit developers and most of the admin work are done by them only. So companies don't usually feel the need to hire a Salesforce admin. But if you're willing to work outside India, like in US, then the opportunities are limitless. So if you can work outside India, then you can go with this role. Otherwise, you can consider roles like Salesforce developers if you love coding or Salesforce business analyst if you have that business acumen. However, having said that it's also very important to know that Salesforce admin is the starting point or the foundation to enter into Salesforce ecosystem. So make sure that you have a solid grasp of the concepts involved. On the other hand, if you have a passion for coding, problem solving, and want to take your technical skills to the next level, then pursuing a career as a Salesforce developer could be the right choice for you. In the end, both Salesforce administrator and developers play crucial roles in making Salesforce a powerful tool for businesses. It's not about which one is better, it's about finding the role that aligns with your strengths and interests. Thanks for joining us today on this career exploration journey. Remember, no matter which path you choose, 
Continuous learning is essential in ever evolving world of Salesforce. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be facing the same career choice. And as always, leave your questions and comments down below. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.